Hi, I'm Cheryl Dorskin, and I wanted to show you how to make a creative border. First, I'm going to unlock my layer by double-clicking on it, and I'm going to rename it Image. Next, I will create two new layers, and I'll name them as they come up. This one will be called Background, and the next image will um, layer will be my border layer. I find it really helpful to label all your layers, say really organized, it helps as especially as you start doing lots and lots of creative things. Next I'll click back, make sure I'm on the image layer and I'm going to change the canvas size to add, be able to add some white space. So for illustration purposes I'll use the percentage and I'll change the image size to 125. I mean the canvas size, excuse me. Now I will go on to the background layer, go to Edit, Fill, and I will choose my background color, which is white, and right here I have the default black and white, and I'll say OK, and now I have a white border. Next I'll go to the image layer, I'll select it using the marquee tool, and you want to try to get a really good selection working a little fast right now, but I selected the tool and now I will go to select modify border and I plugged in a 60 pixels I might not do this normally but I want you to see what I'm doing and I'm going to say OK. Now I'll modify this border a little bit we'll smooth it out we'll smooth it out by 22 pixels I'll say OK and we will also feather it. Let's feather it by six. I'll say OK. And one more modification will be to expand it. We'll expand it by 30. And again, I'll say OK. Notice the border got bigger. I will next move on to my border layer and I am going to add a color to it. So I'm going to use the eyedropper tool I'll pick a pretty green, I like that color. I can also click on the um, color swatch and the color picker tool opens and if I want to adjust it a little I can take that little circle and tweak the color. I'll say OK. I'll go back to Edit Fill and I will fill it now with the foreground color which is a pretty green and I'll say OK. Now, um, to deselect, I'll do Command-D, but lots of things can start to happen now by changing your blending modes. For instance, if I go to Lighten, I have a nice, clean, sharp edge. I could also change my opacity, and um, the image starts to come through. I could also duplicate the border and change that opacity so I have many different things happening at once. Furthermore, with the new border I just added, I can take the eraser tool and pick a brush. And uh, let's see, I like these dry brushes. Let's pick like number 36 and we'll make the brush a little larger and keep the opacity of the brush low. You want to start slow and and add to it. And I can erase by um, switching the foreground background and I can erase and add erase it by using white and I don't know if you can see what I'm doing let me make this larger but I'm working on erasing the border and just as I could do it with white you can also erase with a color, but I'm going to erase it like this. And then it gives it that hand chiseled effect. I have two layers, border layers going on now. So hopefully that um, gives you some ideas for how to make a creative border. Thanks so much for listening. Bye bye.